This video will demonstrate a new feature called Extract Audio that will allow you to extract an audio file from another push button station, save it in your app and then transfer it to another button. This would be very helpful if you have a knockdown and you don't happen to have a copy of that message already in your app. You can go to the other side of the street, the corresponding phase, and extract that message and then load it into the new replacement button for the knockdown. In this case I'm going to demonstrate on the Apple iOS app extracting the audio and loading it into another button. First I connect to a button I click on audio update and then up in the top right hand it says extract I'm going to click on advance because I'm actually going to extract custom walk number two now you need to name this file it doesn't automatically know the name of the file embedded so you need to know the name of the street or the name of the file to give it another or reassign that name for the next button so in this case I know it was Rocky Mountain I'm just going to call it Rocky hit save and now it's going to extract that audio this process does take a few seconds longer than just loading a new message into a button As you can see, it's finished extracting the audio. So that file is now under the audio file. So if I click in here, scroll down the bottom, you'll see Rocky Walk. So that is ready for me to load into another button. So I'm going to disconnect from this button and now connect to my IN3 button next to it. Click on audio update. I'm going to put this in custom walk number one. Scroll down to my rocky walk. Select file. Now that is loading into the new button. Just takes a few seconds. That is now loaded into the new button. I can test it by going into PBS configuration going into custom walk number one which is already there I'm going to click on write to make sure that's updated now I can turn on the audio playback Rocky Mountain walk sign is on to cross Rocky Mountain and that's how easy it is to extract and put a message into another button